All right, so here's the stuff we're gonna need to use the capacitive sensor to set it up. Um, I'm using a 100K ohm resistor, um, but the higher the higher the resistor you use, the more sensitive that the sensor will be. Uh, I'm just gonna set up a very a very basic one using just one sensor, and the way we're gonna do that, we're gonna use um, digital pin two. Digital pin four and we're gonna use this as our sensor. Uh, you can you know you can attach this to anything that's metal um, and it will read it as long as there's a good connection. But we're just gonna use this for demonstration purposes. Alright, so pin two, I'm gonna stick in the positive uh, positive portion, positive bar, and then we're going to attach the resistor to that to that strip, and then put it on the board. All right, and like I was saying before, you can cut them down to make them um, easier to work around, but. There's not much we're doing here. All right, so for pin four, you're mm -hmm. going to attach to the the strip that the resistor's on. And there's, I should have mentioned it before in earlier videos, but there's no right or wrong end to the resistors, um, so it doesn't matter. Unlike the LEDs, where it does matter if you get the positive and negative side correct. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna, you have your two pin here on the positive bar, or the positive strip going into the resistor. The resistor is running out here to um, digital pin four, and then on that same strip, we're going to connect our sensor pin, and then that's it. And then all you're gonna do is, um, this is going to give you your readings and I'll show that to you in the program. So let's uh, let's do that. We'll upload it and get our readings. Alright, so um, the first thing we're going to need to do before we get into this program is download the library from the interwebs. Um, the best way to do it is to just Google CapSense, which is the library name, and navigate to this page. Uh, it's actually on the arduino.cc website, but Google is always faster. And then you're going to download the zip file, and we're going to place it inside the libraries folder inside the Arduino folder. Mine uh, is located in documents, yours probably is as well. Um, so you're going to go to the Arduino libraries, and then you're going to unzip into this. Um, you're going to take that folder and stick it in here, and then it gives you a few files. Um, you can get your examples from here. That's actually only one example that it comes with. But and then you're going to need to reset Arduino. That way it can read it. And then once you get it up, you're just going to come down here to examples inside a file. Come down here to this odd looking one. Click on capacitive sensor sketch. It's going to bring up this, this sketch here. And um, this is actually for three sensors, but we're going to only use one. And you notice they got it set up with the pins uh, four and two, and we are going to use pins two and four. That might be confusing, but you'll see what I mean. Um, we have our send pin and our receive pin switched. So all you're going to need to do is type in two here and four here as well as here so and now this line is set up for ours these two um, we're not going to use because we only have one set up and you can also change we actually don't even need this line for our purposes um, you're going to change these two you're going to take these two out and set this to two and four um, and then we're going to 
take out these three lines. All those we're doing was reading the other sensors. Um, and in here we're going to type LN. And that's what that's going to do is when we're when our serial monitor is reading the sensor, um, instead of it reading horizontally, where it's un kind of unreadable, it's going to, every time this loops, it's going to print out a new line. That way it's going to basically run vertically um, so we can read our, our stuff there. So that's, I mean, I, this is the same one here, but I know this one works. All right, so here at the top, it has um, the library location included. So this is this is the line that includes the library. Um, and then this line right here sets up our our pins for sending and receiving our for our capacitive sensor. And um, you can just you can write this in or just use the example code. And but make sure you switch this to two and four like we have our pins set up. And inside the setup all you need is Serial begin, like I was saying. And then inside the loop, what this is doing, um, this line is setting up a variable to read, it's gonna, it's gonna read the milliseconds. Um, it's gonna read on the serial monitor in milliseconds. And then this line right here, it's gonna print out um, a tab and so the code for tab is just forward slash t, but you have to put it inside of quotations. Um, that way the computer doesn't read this um, backslash, excuse me. And then so for this one, this next line, we're going to print out this variable, total one, which is the reading from our sensor. And I believe this right here is the sensitivity. I've never messed with it. But I've, if you change, I mean, you can just mess with it and see what it does. I think it just changes the sensitivity um, on the reading. And again, we're going to tab. Well, we actually don't even need this. So I'm going to take that out as well. And then put LN here to create the new line. And then we're going to upload it and see what it does. So after it's done uploading, what you're going to want to do is navigate up here from Tools, come down here to Serial Monitor, and it's going to start reading um, it's going to start reading the sensor. So if I touch it, it should read you know, somewhere around 100 because our, if our resistor was a higher number, it would read a higher number uh, depending on what you're looking for or what kind of, what kind of um, sensitivity you're looking for. And here at the end, I just have, it, I have a delay of one second. If, you, if we bring it down to, say, 10 milliseconds, it's just going to read a lot faster. So you wait for it to upload, and then I'm just going to use a shortcut to open up the monitor. And you see it start running, and then I grab it and let go, grab it, let go. You can do all sorts of cool stuff with it. You can, you know, set that up as your input and then have it output to LEDs or speakers or, you know, whatever you want, stepper motors or anything. And just, you know, your imagination. Well, I hope that helped. I hope that wasn't too confusing. Um, you can always find more information on just different websites like Adafruit, SparkFun. Um, there's more documentation about the library itself um, at Arduino CC, where we're, right where we picked up the, the zip file. I mean, it's got all sorts of information about it, different stuff you can do with it, different. Um, I did, I, there's actually a video demonstration of some guy using it um, you know good luck